Dennis International Airport is continuing to expand. It's just one part of a plan to increase economic viability, not only at the airport, but Hancock County as a whole. Noah Noble, expl Noah Noble explains. Tens of millions of dollars are being poured into Stennis International Airport. It's a lot of money, but Hancock County is banking on an even larger return. Hancock County is looking at over 30 to 40 million dollars in investment over the next uh, probably 24 months right here at Stennis International. So where is that money going? 1.2 million is going toward a new jet engine run-up pad that will set Stennis International apart from most general aviation airports in the nation. This pad will actually give Stennis International Airport uh, the capability to test and certify attack fighter and trainer uh, jet classes. The pad itself will be approximately 40 feet wide by 80 feet deep. It's got 24 inches of concrete in the center with six inches of concrete on either side and those jets will be backed in for the testing. Construction for the pad is now underway and will be complete at the end of April. Another $3 million will be spent on building a 98,000 square foot apron this summer. The apron is where the uh, the aircrafts, when they after they land on the runway, they'll taxi via taxiway and then they actually park on the aprons. That gives the airport's tenants more opportunity to bring in larger aircraft and additional aircraft, which helps generate revenue. Along with that, a new 6,000 square foot hangar is in the works. It will be adjacent to a hangar built last year with Restore Act funds. So having that run up pad, having apron expansions, focusing on site development, uh, it's gonna continue, I think, to have Stennis International um, be a tremendous asset to the Gulf Coast community. And Hancock County's plan for economic expansion in the area goes beyond the gates of Stennis International. We're looking at trying to expand in the coming year uh, a tech park space, which is a 40 acre uh, facility and building uh, that will actually allow our existing incubator and in industries to grow and expand, uh, add new jobs, uh, look at some private capital. In Hancock County, Noah Noble, WLOX, News Now. And work on the new hangar will begin sometime in the next six months. The uh, Port and Harbor director told us most of the construction projects are being awarded to local companies here in South Mississippi.